I'm going to talk about an experience I had that was um, very eye-opening to me. Um, the scariest time of my entire life, something that I want none of you to experience and uh, something that I need to declare to the entire world. And uh, I pray that the Spirit of God, um, Jesus Christ, the Father in Heaven, uh, Jehovah, draws people to this video. Um, to this channel and to this video specifically if they don't watch any other video that they watch this one um, when I was doing drugs uh, drinking alcohol smoking weed smoking cigarettes things of that nature drinking cough syrup um, I was in the hospital regularly I have over 20 documented hospital uh, visits um, due to drugs, overdose, panic attacks, things of that nature. Um, extremely scary lifestyle. I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, very scary. The last time I was in the hospital, real quick, um, I noticed, because I had been in there many times before, um, remember, um, the last time that I was in there, I knew this was bad. I knew by the way the doctors were moving that it was uh, crucial that they get me care, um, that they calm me down um, because it was uh, mainly panic attack, you know, because my system was overwhelmed, my heart rate, my blood pressure was um, just through the roof. Um, but uh, I remember them saying, you know, you're not going to die because I kept asking them, you're not going to die, you just need to calm down, you just need to breathe. But the thing is, guys, I knew they were lying. Um, and I just, uh, that they were just trying to calm me down. Because if I didn't calm down, there was no uh, drug that they could give me that would calm me down. Um, you know, it was just, uh, you know, you can't fight drugs with drugs, you know. Um, and that's what they told me. Um, so long story short, I prayed to Jesus Christ, asked him for a second chance. As I had done many times before, said I didn't deserve it, um, but please give me a second chance. And I uh, felt a warm rush in the bottom of my toes, up through my whole body. And uh, God literally started breathing through my body because I was very short of breath and I couldn't breathe properly. And he was helping me, literally like breathing through me, in through my nose and out through my mouth. Um, here's what I mean to say by that. Three days later, guess what I was doing? I was drinking and I was smoking again. Now, the night that I went back to that stuff, after God had saved me, I passed out. And God took me to hell. I still remember it clear as day. I was down there, guys. There was only black, gray, and orange colors. The sound is so loud that it sounds like a train. It sounds like a tornado. I don't know how to describe it any other way. You can hear the popping. It's, it's just, it's so loud. It's so scary. Fear is in the environment. It's in your being. It's all around you. You can't escape it. You're isolated. You don't have the comfort of knowing there are other people around you. You're isolated. You can't speak to anybody. You know that your prayers are not being heard. It's scary. You know you belong there. God had to show me that this is where you're going to end up if you keep doing these things. God didn't allow me to experience the physical part of it. I just experienced the spiritual torment. I remember being down there and just not being able to understand. I literally couldn't understand how I was still alive and during that much mental torment. You, you think when you're down there that it, it is impossible for anybody to go through this much mental torment and, and live. I couldn't understand it. I was trying so hard to figure out why am I not dead? Why am I not dead? But I knew I was in hell. 
I didn't sleep that whole night. It, it's a different realm too, so I remember being able to experience being in my body fully, but I also remember being able to observe myself. And I was in so much torment, guys. My arms were locked by my sides like this, my shoulders hunched up, and I was just rocking back and forth violently. That wasn't a good illustration, but it was much faster than that. Just rocking back and forth. Just just swaying violently because I, I, I was in so much torment. I couldn't understand it. I couldn't understand how any human being could go through that much fear. You're not even thinking, how can I get out or anything like that. You know you're there forever, but it's just, it's over. I knew if I kept drinking, if I kept smoking... If I kept watching pornography, that I would be going to hell. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, yes. We must confess our sins. We must turn away from them before it's too late. I should have died in my sin. I should have gone to hell. You know, but God's merciful, you know what I mean? And he gave me time. But you don't know when your time is. And when you're dead, you go right before God. Right before God. And you're judged. Heaven or hell. It is appointed once for a man to live and then the judgment. Once for a man to live and then to die. And then the judgment. Heed the words of my testimony. For all who are watching, believe in Jesus Christ and change your life. Allow the Spirit of God to change you and to purge you from all sins. He'll, he'll help you. He said, no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond your ability to endure it, but with the temptation provide a way of escape. There's no excuse. Pornography, masturbation, you know, drinking, smoking, whatever it is, vanity, selfishness, unforgiveness, all that stuff has to go for you to enter into the kingdom of God. And now that you've heard the truth, it's up to you what you choose today. The Bible says, choose this day whom you will serve. Will you serve the world? Will you serve money? Will you serve cars, whatever it is? Or will you serve the Lord Jesus Christ? Will you live for God and get to know him better, get to know his son better, and uh, seek a relationship with him? This is serious, guys. This is heaven or hell. Please listen to what I'm saying. Don't put it off. Give your life to Jesus Christ now.